What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So I went back and looked at it, and if my understanding is correctly, our fervor is what we use to cast. And if we leave out three deaths, we're gaining basically extra experience and extra martyrdom points, which those are used to level up the weapons. So I haven't done martyrdom point stuff yet, but if my understanding of it is correct. Basically, we we sacrifice uh, magic casts for the ability to deal. Oh, bro. Oh my goodness. Basically we sacrifice the we 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 gain less magic to cast with and we Yeah, yeah, cuz our bar is sealed. So we have less magic to work with and we have lower defense, but in exchange we're gaining more XP. It's pretty dope. Ah. Ah. Doesn't work as well as I thought. Oh my god. What was my thing? Chance down and B. Oh. Oh. Yeah! Ah no, don't hit me! No! God, dude, his hitbox is nutty. Alright, I need to do that. That, that spell is good though. I get can I okay I don't restore fervor from resting so that's only from beating on stuff a little bit more It's clobbering time. Oh my goodness. No! Oh, no, stay away, bro! Stay away! <laughs> God! Can I. Do I. Can I. Uh, I can iframe through you. I'm doing it wrong. Marks of Martyrdom. Attacking and executing enemies allows you to earn Marks of Martyrdom, which can be used to upgrade certain characteristics. Pentinent, you can earn them by fighting and exploring the map. Fired one. Oh, I thought I had to, like, actually execute, dude. Render foe. Who are you? Whose face and name you keep hidden? No. Your name is of no consequence. If your footsteps have led you to me, Yerma is mine own. But this is not the right moment, for the steps that my promise inspires are swift, and the will that directs them unshakable. This hatred, which blinds my reason with shadows. I must leave at once. Thank you. Weapon memories. You now have access to the weapon memory section in your inventory. Use marks of martyrdom to acquire advanced combat techniques. Track down the bear penitence to unlock techniques that are even more powerful. Showed up all mysterious and worship turned to countless weapons. All right, so what do I do with that? How do I? Oh, weapon memory. Okay. Higher damage to attacks in exchange for fervor. Okay, consumes all my fervor. After an attack on the ground to convert it into a powerful horizontal strike that turns it on or off. A quick follow-up. Half charge time. Let's go for the combo strike. That sounds useful. Yeah, combo strike sounds really good. No! Oh no. Bad touch. I don't like this. Where are we going? What is this? Ivy of Ascension. We can climb or go up or something. 
Some surfaces can be used to climb. Hold down right trigger to skip and not to slip. Hell yeah. Not, not, hang on. Maybe I don't, I don't climb here? Oh, I climb on, on those things, okay. Scratched lead sphere. Put rosary beads to increase characteristics. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads. It's a very fortunate fall down. We're getting all sorts of goodies from that. there anything I could have done to cross no okay so I need an air dash or a double double jump and air dash probably to make it across that gap okay so beads Aculus relics of contrition I wonder what those are Chant was strong. I wonder if, if I can, like, if I do the thing where I die and leave my stuff behind, could I, like, do that out of town and then progress and gain more experience? What is this? Sleep, my child. Sleep. like that weird lady from Game of Thrones that was like breastfeeding her kid. Okay, so from the shrine, um, that had the mirrors, so let's make a, make a blue dot over there. So my blue dot means the mirrors. This had a chest, but we need double jump. So that'll denote that. I go up in this way. So I'm supposed to supposed to go that way. Elevator back to the hub. No, elevator down. All right. So I don't want to take this just yet. Let's try and do everything we can where we're currently at. These episode names are going to be all over the place. Either I have to, like, I'm going to have to, like, Google and figure out what these zones are called. Or it's just going to be, like, Crypt Exploration. All right, this takes me, hang on. Nice. The City of the Blessed Name. Oh, go back in. Go back in. Give him his sculpting. Give him the sculpty. 
It's some good stuff. Pray. This mallet is so wonderfully balanced. Know that you have my gratitude, Penitent. I like double them up now. May the hands of the miracle guide thee, Penitent One. remember wasn't it oh god oh god was it the first blasphemous where or maybe it was uh no i'm trying to remember what there was a metroidvania where you had to like go back to like the hub and the uh there's a crap there's like a waterfall in the town that you would descend into i don't remember I played so many of these i don't remember which one it was it might have been death scan but Charge attack doesn't really seem worth it so far. Empty receptacle. that area maybe it's just considered part of the city of blessed name let's go down first i guess this looks like a boss room Do. Open up the skin and red flesh. Uncover the lie that my shell conceals. For I am only blood and bones. So allow the chalices to be filled with those who toast kings and priests. Okay. Now I shall grant thee a new flower. Oh, hell yeah! Bring me more vials. Bring me. Okay, that was dope. So put a question mark there. I don't exactly have an icon to dictate the two face door. Oh, blessed are we, for I behold a penitent. Humbly allow us to present ourselves to your reverence. We are Medardo and Escolastico. Pilgrim merchants and scribes by trade. You never know where precious assets may be. What prey can be unjust or malevolent in walking the roads in pursuit of a twofold profit? That of the pocket by selling, and that of the spirit by prayer. While Medardo pays penance in his meditative meanderings, I take care of the business side of things, sparing not a drop of ink to write about the beautiful landscapes 
of the many varied paths we travel. But go ahead and cast your eyes upon our shop window. The objects that were lost on voyages have great appeal and fascination, as they have become a reminder of the feat itself. Cast your eyes upon our shop. Bolt of electricity. Increase the chance of critical hits when using prayers. Okay. Um. Hmm. I mean, if my fire ticks can crit, that could be super good. Let's do that. Until up. Then I'll need to go back to dude. Oh, cool. So it not it. And then I need one of those mirror things again. All right, let me. Uh, mirrors I denoted as blue. I'm guessing it's it's some other thing. Well, so if this if this hits the gongs and does stuff, it's probably one of the other weapons. It like bounces off the mirror or something. Become a ray of light and shoot out. Rills and ruin. Okay. We have a whole ass new zone over here. Let's go take that elevator. Well, hang on. I want to take the elevator too, but let's see what enemies are are like over here. So two hits for a basic enemy. This is probably where I am supposed to go next, because it feels like this is natural progression from the City of the Blessed Name. But let's go check that elevator path and see what that leads to. It's up ahead more. Blood. This works out because I had to run by the sculptor anyway. The wood I said. Uh, open. All right. Remember he said something about like. May the hands getting bonuses when combining certain stuff, but I mean physical damage and then crit, that you know, those are two things that sound good to me. Drop oh so fast when I do these drops. I didn't see what's beyond this. Barabbas of the return to port. Take the pen and one back to the city. Oh my god, that's so good, dude. Fast travel, hell yeah. Super glad I came back over here. That would have sucked. I just keep going and I'm like, man, the hub is so far. How do I get back? Fast travel I almost missed. A sea of ink. Forgotten tribute. I mean, it, it kind of looks... I mean, it's just the horizon, I guess. Do I just die if I walk off of this? Alright, well, we clearly don't go that way. At least not right now. But that has major, like... I'm gonna find something that's gonna allow me to, to cross my way out into the sea. This way before we continue on now that I have the ability to oh yeah Hang on. can I do okay that looks that's a double jump ba 
bubbles. Yo, ah. I think those are just heals, though. Oh, there was an angel in it, too. Okay. Definitely don't belong here yet. The fact that it's uh, three hits per enemy. Let me um. There we go. My lazy way of marking that this is a three hit per enemy zone. Let's do three skulls. So I'm gonna see if there's anything else that I can access now that I can climb the walls. think there was, but... Concerned about is back here. I want to get that far and see what it was that I needed to, to do to progress there. I want to mark it on my mini map. Just start sprinting through. There's that one area going up, but I would need I would need like flight to do that. So I would need a, just a double jump. Let's mark that as two persons. So double jump to get there. And then what about here? Is that also a double jump? Possibly a double jump here. I don't remember if that was a double jump or not. I just run past it. It's just just past the other shrine. I'm just gonna go fast and then I'll warp out of here. One of the things I really like about Metroidvania is like, I mean, obviously with the with Souls likes, you know, you get you get lost trying to find all these paths and how the world interconnects. Uh, whereas with like a Metroidvania, you're you're you know you're plotting out a path, and you gotta, you gotta record everything. Now, not like you know record like, hey, I'm making my episodes. Record like, okay, I need to come back here later for X. I need to go do Y at this spot. You know that. That, uh, that exploration. It's a 
part of the games that I very much enjoy with this genre is figuring out how to get back and explore everything, find all the goodies. Okay, so gold, there's gold steps. Um, do that. So three hit per enemy, gold steps, double jump. It's a cool little travel animation. All right, and then, so I want to go this way to proceed to the enemies that we are hitting in two attacks. Actually, what I'm probably going to do is uh, I'm gonna add some notes into my little Discord note-taking thing just to record all these little uh, symbolic denotations that I'm making to, <laughs> to help navigate the map. So, all right, Grills and Ruin. This will be up next. I'm going to wrap things up here. More Blasphemous 2 is coming your way, though, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you all then.